Don't obsess over others. It makes them feel insecure too. I feel so uncomfortable when people talk about my body to the point where it gets creepy or obsessive. I appreciate the admiration and compliments when they aren't derived from unhealthy minds, but when people obsess over how I have high metabolism, I get uncomfortable. No one is perfect, so with too many comments fixating on my perfect appearance, I ironically feel insecure since I know I have imperfections. My message here is to stop voicing your obsession with someone else's appearance, since it's unhelpful in creating a positive space. Edit, I'm not bragging here at all, just sharing how obsessive compliments can make people feel insecure. Now maybe you're not directly bragging, but I somehow feel that you're somewhat of a uh, humble brag. College applications are finally over. I didn't apply to many schools, but I am happy to have been accepted by all of them. Columbia University, Juilliard School of Music, Yale School of Music, Arbolin Conservatory and College, New England Conservatory, University of Southern California Ho Th Thornton, School of Music, University of California Los Angeles. Thank you all who have supported me along the way. Look, it's great that you have got into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 different schools. You know, I, I applied to two schools and I think I thought that was a lot. Just own the fact that you were applied to eight schools. D don't... <sighs> you know what? Good for you. Whatever. I'm 6.2 and in the eighth grade. Ask me anything. Six feet two inches just to clarify. Oh good, I thought you were like 6.2 centimeters tall. You know, I was a little confused, but uh, good for you. Um... Uh, I don't know. But you have a breakfast. I would musk and try to save the world. But that just exposes me to the same type of assholes that made me sell Minecraft again. When we sold the company, the biggest afraid of me and my life and sure and went with a normal person in Sweden and they all hate the run away to my friends with the old and I always have time to keep it. Never and you want to make the most of the bond that hanging out pizza with a bunch of friends and partying with famous people. How many females can say they kept a man? Mwah! Over six months? <laughs> July 17th. I'll wait. <laughs> Peace. I don't know. I seen a lot of marriages that have, have uh, lasted more than six months. Not gonna lie, even I have lasted more than six months. If, if you're gonna brag about something, at least brag about something with substance. You, 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 can't, you can't brag about being together with someone for six months. That, that's not a brag. That's like... <laughs> that, <laughs> it's not a brag. Doctor said my mom might have cancer again. I... Th there's so much wrong with this picture. It's very disrespectful to talk about your mother having cancer while having you flexing in the background. That's the obvious, <laughs> obvious wrong thing. But the second thing is, if you look past that, if you're gonna post a picture of you flexing and showing off your body, at least have the decency to have put on some muscles and get a good body first. That's like the least you can ask for, right? It's not every day that you have a dragonfly land on your finger when you're washing your car. He you must know I donate a lot of money to these environmental groups. Environmental Defense Fund, Earth Justice, Natural Resources Defense Council, The Nature Conservancy, The Wilderness Society, Defenders of Wildlife, Sierra Club and National Wildlife Federation. I... If, if... If you're an environmentalist, and you care about the environment, then that's great. I... If you post a status on Facebook, where you said, To me, the environment is important, and therefore I have decided to donate to these charities. If you post that once, just to let people know that you care, and that you think that other people should care as well, that's fine. And people will most likely respect you for that, because the environment is, is an issue for a lot of people, so it's great that you take action and that you do something about it. But instead of doing that, you try to have us believe that this dragonfly did some research, he looked up these environmental groups, he looked up their donators, he found you, and he went and gave you a, a little land on your fingertips as a thank, as a way of saying thank you. Yes, 